I'm just going to go through how simple it is to bring your OpenELEC install, uh, no matter if you're on a Raspberry Pi or whatever device it is, um, if you've got an OpenELEC install, how easy it is to bring it back to a vanilla state, a factory sort of reset if you like. So as you can see in here, I've got um, I've already got an add-on there, but we've got the standard OpenELEC configuration add-on. So we go in there, if we click to the right, at the very bottom we're going to find some reset options. So we've got a soft reset option, and the one below that is a hard reset option. So this soft reset option, it will wipe everything, um, give you a completely fresh uh, install, but it will not wipe your uh, video and audio directories. Um, the, uh, the hard reset option will actually um, completely format your, your drive, so um, your storage uh, partition. So I'm going to try that one and um, this is particularly useful if you think that you may have some kind of corruption going on and it may not be formatted correctly, you know, it might be that you've got a Raspberry Pi and, and you don't think that you've set up the uh, EXT file system correctly. Uh, this will sort all that out for you, this will format it to the correct structure um, and it will completely wipe your install and, um, and install a fresh one. Okay, so it will install the same version that you've currently got the kernel um, installed for. So, for example, if I'm on uh, 5.0.1 uh, on here, um, it will revert back to 5.0.1. Um, so there you go. It's now going into a sort of reboot mode, and you'll find that it wipes the whole partition. I'll end up with a completely fresh install, and um, and it'll be running lovely again. Now, do remember though that you use this. Uh, at your own risk, it, it will wipe all of your add-ons and all of your settings. Uh, but if you've uh, previously installed maybe a third-party add-on that was causing problems, uh, this will certainly get rid of that and bring you back to a nice factory vanilla state. Right, thanks for watching.